Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Jack's Mechanics. I'm um, just going to show you how to do a relative compression test with the snap-on scope. We're just on a little Toyota Corolla here and um, we have the injectors unplugged. When you're doing this test, you need to um, disable the car in one way or another, um, whether that be spark or fuel. Um, and it's obviously most preferable to disable uh, the fuel system so we don't end up washing the bores and getting skewed results. So first things first, we're using the Pico amp clamp and we have the snap-on modus edge. So we have the amp clamp set up on the 20 amp scale which gives you 100 millivolts per one amp. So basically you would expect um, it to be around um, couple hundred amps of current draw on the starter motor so we want at least two volts um, we'll probably go a bit more to see on the screen maybe five volts which will give us 500 amps or if you wanted to use the 60 amp scale um, then you would just need like 500 millivolts would give you the same reading so um, the amp clamp does have its um, own way to go but Basically you can go over either battery cable, just depends on um, ease of access, so it doesn't really matter which way you put it because most scopes have the ability to invert the picture. Um, so we'll just clamp this over this line, because uh, current flow is the same anywhere in the system when it's flowing. And then we'll come over to the scope, and we'll get it set up. So we go on to the scope, lab scope. I'll choose volts DC and we already have it pretty much set up um, so we have about five seconds on the screen you do want a reasonably long time base and we have it set on five volts okay so we're already getting a reading we'll just take the clamp off and we'll make sure that we zero our clamp we've got our live that's coming down but hold the button live so clamp that negative cable again and we have a reading so Joe if you can go wide open throttle and crank that for a bit okay if we can pause that keep instantly hitting the wrong button and we can go back back a bit more it's the only issue I have with this um, scope other than the fact it being two only two channels it's a bit slow to move um, so basically what we're looking at is um, as the piston is coming up it's causing an amperage rise because we're having a resistance so um, it's creating more amperage to try and turn that engine over and that's what we see with these um, these peaks here probably could have had a little bit less of a time base we can run that again okay let's go again Joe okay obviously tried to start there a few times but basically all these peaks are like relative to a top dead center uh, compression stroke in this four cylinder um, engine you know you can get a bit more technical and basically sync it up with an ignition to determine which cylinder it is if one was low on compression we would see less of a, a peak right here um, but you know this thing is is Mickey Mouse as these Corollas always are so again just going over that um, amp clamp over there plugged into the ground and channel 1 channel 1 is turned on we've got 5 volts for 500 amps um, with the mathematics that the amp clamp is doing a couple of seconds on the screen and then we get our waveform that we can see is looking really nice this part here obviously was the end, you could hear the engine was trying to start it was speeding up um, so I think that's about it. 
um, next I'll replicate in a different video you know something with low compression or or synced up um, with an ignition sync so hope you guys enjoyed that if you help that find that helpful in any way please consider liking the video or subscribing to the channel and we'll see you at the next one